Man, I've waited three long years for my opportunity. And last week, when Raymond went down, man, I showed the coaching staff what I could do. Getting after the Dukes quarterback, he could go nowhere around me. He had nowhere to go all day. But these next three weeks, with Raymond out, I'm going to put the nation on notice. Not just the coaching staff, not just my teammates. I'm out to prove a point. I'm the best defensive lineman in the nation. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Morgan State University football dynasty here on NCAA Football 11 on the PS2. Now, in week one, we got whooped. There's no other way to put it. And this week, we start conference play going up against SMU. SMU has been known in the past for their passing offense. They have had great receivers like Cortland Sutton, like Emmanuel Sanders. So we will need to stop them in this game. So let's not hop any, waste any time. Let's hop straight into this game as we do kick it deep away to SMU. And let's see how our defense will hold up this game. We are playing against maybe lesser competition. I'm not sure as we go up against SMU. And here's a th first throw across the middle. That's caught by Jones. And they have a pretty good quarterback in West who can air it out. This time he's going to take it up the middle. And he will get stopped by Eli Day up the middle. And that'll bring it to a second and eight at about the 45. Throw across the middle. It's almost picked off by Pearson, who is filling in for the injured safety Griffin on that one. And now that brings it to a third and eight. Here is West. This time trips to the left side. He's got a running back next to him. He's going to fake the handoff. Throw downfield to the right side. He's got Roberts, who does get it over. Makoko on the right side, and that is a first down. And that's a nice comeback route on that one and a first down. So from the 25, throw across the middle. It's almost picked off again by Pearson. That's two on this drive he could have had. And now they get it to an eventual third and one. They're going to hand it off. No, they're going to fake it. Throw across the middle and they will convert. Two dropped interceptions on this drive and both times they have converted. So now they have a first and goal at about the eight yard line. This time West avoids the tackle and then he gets ah. swallowed up on the play and that is going to be a sack by Yvonne Dre Pike and now they get it to a third and goal from the eight this time West avoids another sack and throws and that? it's picked off by Jesse Chambers the senior cornerback and he gets his first of the year and there we go our first big stop of this season it comes in the red zone and Jesse Chambers comes up big and now we take over inside the five-yard line. Is out comes Caesar at quarterback. He's going to hand it off to Bobo Christopher, who gets a lot, lot of room to the right side, makes a move, and picks up the first down. That's a nice way to start out on offense. So here comes Caesar, the junior quarterback, this time from the shotgun. We're all to the left side and throw that way, and it is going to be deflected on that one. And that brings it to a third and nine. They send the blitz. The pressure gets right there. And that is almost going to be caught. But I guess the receiver was not expecting that throw. And here comes West back on an offense. First pass out to the right side. He's got Jones. And he's got about a gain of eight, maybe nine on that one. And that eventually brings us to a third and three. Here's a play action fake. Throw down the field, and it is going to be incomplete. So two punts for the SMU, or two, I guess, turnovers maybe for the SMU offense. But no, they will go for it here on a fourth and three. Throw to the right side. Almost picked off by Scott Giffen. And the middle linebacker almost has an interception, almost the second one of the game. And now SMU turns the ball over on downs. So here is Caesar back onto the field. Throw out to the right side, and that is caught by Bryce Dotson. And we have had two first downs on the first two drives for our offense. Definitely different from the last game. So here comes Caesar. This time, handoff. Christopher, who gets up the middle, only going to pick up a gain of two that time for the power back. So Kavon Wallace checks into the game, line up in the backfield. Caesar tries to scramble out, but does run out of real estate and he gets pushed out of bounds by Wilson. And he may have stepped out of bounds on his own, but ran out of room. 
And that brings it to a third and 14. This time Caesar airing it out deep. And it's going to be picked off by Brown. So we give it right back. But it's going to act like a punt. They start the ball out at about their own 25 yard line on the next drive. So out comes their quarterback, West. He has not been impressive so far, but you never know. Let's see what he does here to end the first half. He comes out with four wide receivers out. Both sides, throw deep. It's gonna be deflected and caught by Bruh. King. You've gotta be kidding me. He's gonna take it all the way. It's a touchdown and wow, Bobby Ellington had that interception in his hands. This has happened three times already. Three dropped interceptions and now SMU takes advantage. It's a deflection and a touchdown, tip drill. And it's a seven nothing game. So here is Caesar back onto the field and he just absolutely gets tattooed trying to get rid of it. And that eventually brings us to a third and long once again. Four and a half minutes left. SMU sends the pressure and we get hit on the throw and it's picked off and it's a touchdown once again by Brown. And wow, this is crazy. Wendell Caesar gets hit on that throw. It's an easy pick six. And now 13 nothing just in a blink of an eye. So SMU back out on defense and look at them. They're setting the pressure now. They know our weak spot. Just get some pressure on the quarterback and they're probably gonna keep sending the house. They do, once again, throw across the middle and it's not even close. It's picked off again. The third straight interception in a row and now we have to take back over on defense. We always are backed up in the red zone here for the opposing team. And out comes West at quarterback, his first throw. Wide open, Roberts touchdown. This started out close. I mean, I thought this was gonna be a close game within the first few minutes, but now it's 20 to nothing. This is just piling on here as Caesar tries to get rid of it. And he gets hit on the throw, incomplete pass. Luckily, it's not a fumble. So now third and long, this time Caesar throws to the right side. And it's like the cornerback knew where we were gonna throw. He jumped up on that one, that was Scott. And he almost had an interception, but good thing it was thrown out of bounds. And now we do put it away to West, who comes out with trips to the left side. Deep throw across the middle. It's that. picked off. Bobby Ellington. He dropped one earlier. And I would say he made up for it, but that first one was huge. I mean, that would open up the game and gave them the momentum. And now we come back out onto the field. At least we have a little bit of momentum. But you can just see SMU has all the momentum. You can see their status bar at the top at the scoreboard, but here's a throw deep on the right side. It's caught by Anthony Parco. And finally a big play for this team. And now we get a big first down. As you can see, they still have the momentum. You can see the blinking meter at the top. That's a pretty cool, cool feature in this game. Here's a handoff, Kavon Wallace, and he picks up about a gain of six, maybe seven. And that brings us to a second and three. This time, Caesar tries to buy time. Dumps it off to Bobo, and he gets laid out on that one. And wow, you can just see the pressure this defense is putting on us. And now third and three. This time, Caesar throws to the right side. Not even close. It's incomplete. Wendell Caesar cannot complete that pass. So we're down 20 to nothing. I mean, we might as well go for it here. Speed option to the left side. Another big hit. This is just sad. We might actually be the worst team in college football right now. You can see we can't do anything. If we get behind, it's pretty much over. I mean, look at the momentum. It's definitely in their favor, and we can do nothing about it. You can just see they're starting to roll now. Here's West. Throw wide open. Roberts, he gets upfield, throws off a tackler, and gets to about the 19, maybe 20-yard line. And now they have a fresh set of downs here with a minute 50 seconds left here in the first half. This time West from the shotgun. He throws to the end zone, but that. it's picked off. Jesse Chambers, his second of the game. And there we go. At least one of our guys is showing up. Chambers gets the interception, his second of the game. Three overall for us. And wow, I'm surprised. I mean, it's 20 to nothing, but they have all the momentum in the world. We give it off to Kavon Wallace and he can't go anywhere. And wow, loss of one yard. He gets hit hard, bringing it to a second and 11. We just want to avoid the safety on this one. Throw across the middle, and it is knocked away. And that was intended for Blake Childress Jr. And now we do have to punt the ball away. And SMU has a chance to score once again before halftime. The first pass out to the right side. They've got Williams. 
and he will get it to about the 12 yard line here for a fourth and seven and they will kick the field goal and that one will be good and that's how this one goes in the halftime smu takes the 23 to nothing lead we are getting dominated on both sides of the ball so we come out here to start the second half we're just going to try something different you can see that uh, Wendell Caesar actually has had a point deduction in his overall rating and the rest of his ratings. So we will bring in the backup quarterback, Carbello Neely. Let's see what he can do. First play action fake throw to the right side, and it's going to be dropped. you got to help out the young quarterback. And that was Kavon Wallace coming out of the backfield. He had a lot of room in front of him. Now that brings it to a second down throw across the middle, picked off by Whitworth. And look at the speed. He takes off and he's gonna score a touchdown. When it rains, it pours. And that's exactly what's going on in this game. SMU was probably one of the better overall teams in the conference. So we're not surprised by how good they are, but it's 30 to nothing. I mean, besides the first two minutes of the game, they have been dominating this entire time. Back on offense, another strip sack. I mean, this is just sad. We need to do something. We might have to change the offense. I don't know what it is, but this team is looking pathetic so far through these first two games. Throw across the middle, King, touchdown. And look at that, he even throws off a safety on that one, and he has it for another score, 37 to nothing in the halftime was just over and now this might look worse than the first game throw deep another interception Whitworth and look at the speed he puts on he takes it and he breaks a tackle and he's in for the touchdown 44 to nothing six turnovers for the Morgan State Bears I mean this is just terrible as it's now 44 nothing I don't know if we're going to score in this one it looked promising on the first drive maybe after getting a first down but take a look, Bobo Christopher, our starting running back is hurt as well. So in comes Kavon Wallace. And it's just a little too late to even do anything in this game. Here's Neely throw. And look at this. We can't even make five yard throws on this in this game. I mean, the momentum is all in their favor. Third and 13. Let's just see if we can just throw one up here. Neely throws the left side. It's gonna be almost caught. Bryce Dotson could not hold on. And look at this, fourth and 13. Why not? Let's just go for it and see what we can do. The last play of this game, possibly. Neely drop backs to pass, drops back to pass, throw, and it is deflected, and it's a turnover. And SMU just straight dominates in this game. We had no chance. After they had those first couple of turnovers, I mean, the momentum was clearly in their favor and we just could not recover, and it just ended up being a huge loss for the Morgan State Bears. We have a long way to go here in this franchise. This was a not, not fun to play at all. I was frustrated this whole entire game, and just looking at the box score, I mean, we had nothing going for us besides Chris, Ch or not Chris Chambers, besides Chambers in the secondary getting two interceptions. Besides that, that was it. I mean, Makoko led our team in tackles. And, I mean, Ellington had an interception as well. He gave that big time play in the first half as well. And it just wasn't good all around. And SMU did what they wanted. Well, next game, it doesn't get any easier. Matter of fact, it might get even worse. We average 1.5 points per game, which actually lands us at 119. How are we not 120? That means that there's some team out there that hasn't scored at all. So I'll take the number 119 ranking. But next week we go up against Virginia Tech, so it doesn't get any easier. We'll see how it goes. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope.